something I ask all of my guests. If you have a message of hope for the community, what would that be? As somebody's grandmother, I'm sure said, this too shall pass. If you see somebody else pressing on and being courageous and um, you know yeah. being positive, it's contagious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, guys, this is a really great place. Martha's Vineyard is magical. The landscape of our island might look a little different, but I think it's all going to be beautiful. Just to connect back to this beautiful place and our families and our friends. And I think, you know, Martha's Vineyard's strong. We have so many incredibly talented people here and very creative people. You're doing with this blog is similar to what we're trying to do with the Port Supply. We're, we're bringing, bringing people together and we're trying to all get through this together and, and work together on it. Bring joy to people because a lot of, I think what, what I have in the store and Kate does is it's something to do with the activities. It's uh, maybe a sweet smelling candle. It's gonna bring some peace to them and some calm when they open it. That we are um, thinking about other people and how they're managing. And, and um, the ability for this community to step up for each other has inspired me every day, not just during the COVID-19 crisis, but in general, I hope that, um, I hope that everyone feels the same way because the, the things that I've seen happen in the last month and a half have been really extraordinary. The more we band together to get through this and work together, the better we'll be off. It's been a hard time for everyone. So to see the resilience in um, our staff and in our community responding to this crisis, it, I'm just, I'm so grateful and honored to be a part of this amazing community from the why and beyond throughout Martha's Vineyard coming out of this be craving more human interaction more than ever. But for us to be able to have those virtual tools to like rely back on when we need them and not to cut, not to use them to cut us off from each other. Cause I think we were doing that a little bit too much before this all started, right? It's deepened a lot of relationships. It's given us a whole new appreciation for what it means to see people in person and, and have those interactions. And so, you know, um, it, it's been, there've been some challenging moments on the island, of course, for, for all of us, but I think um, we're coming through it stronger with a deep deeper appreciation for one another. I would just encourage everybody to, to keep the hope and spread positive messages, particularly on social media. Okay. Um, and that can be the framework um, for becoming a stronger community. I love that. That's great. The fact that church services are on YouTube right now, something that we should keep doing because it, it, making things online, putting things online makes it accessible for everyone. Not just what we're doing, but I've seen around the whole island since I've been here. It's just people supporting other people. I think everybody here should be really proud of that. Um, we've done a good job. And if we continue doing a good job, we're all going to be okay. Really good. Mm -hmm. Getting back to really what's important. And that's just really taking care of ourselves, taking care of each other, and then appreciating, you know, having an appreciation for, um, for our health and for our family and um, for, our, for our business and for our community. Stay safe and healthy out there. Sending lots of love and light to our island community and beyond. Absolutely. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.